Okay, Mrs. Castle here, and we are going to learn a couple of things in Sketchbook. Um, let me know if you don't have it on your desktop, and I will help you get it on your desktop. So I'm going to open that up. Oops. Um, going to select New Sketch, and the dimensions that are in there are fine. Um, then I need to put my my photograph of my thumbnail in, and I'm going to choose this icon right there. And that will go to photos. And I'm going to select the photo that of the thumbnail that I want to use. I'm going to click done. And then the next thing I would like you to do is to open up a new layer. So you're not coloring right exactly on top of, excuse me, that sketch. I'm going to click the plus and that's going to give me another layer right here. Um, then I need a brush. I'm going to come over here to my library and there are all kinds of brushes and tools that you can use. Um, I would rather you not use uh, the synthetic uh, the synthetic paint brushes. Those are going to look like watercolor, or not look like watercolor. They're going to look like acrylic paint, and there's, it'll be too dark. Um, I chose this um, watercolor brush that is has the blue box around it. I'm going to continue using that one. And I need a color, so I'm going to come over here to the little ring of color at the bottom. And like you saw in the other example, I had that purple. Um, I really don't want you to use all warm colors or all cool colors. So I'm going to start with that purple and I'm going to put a little sample of it up at the top outside of my drawing just in case. And um, I'm going to start painting in some circles. I chose to do all circles for mine and um, I'm gonna spread my color out a little bit oh something I forgot to show you let's go over to that um, go back to our brush and you notice if I'm keeping my finger down and the, my finger stayed in contact with my iPad and that made one layer of color. If I color in and then I pick up my finger and I color more, that's gonna like put two layers of that color on there and it's gonna be darker. Um, with watercolor, more water makes things lighter, but you have to have the water in it to begin with. You can't add water to the paper to make it lighter, and we'll talk about that more. But it kind of acts the same way in the in sketchbook. So, but something to think about for your settings on your brushes and pencils and markers and stuff. It's right here, and I'm going to touch that. I can make the opacity right here. Um, if something is opaque, you can't see through it. Um, and I can change the opacity of my color if I turn it way down, see how much lighter it is. Um, so I'm gonna leave that opacity at 100% for what I'm doing. If you choose a different brush and the color looks really intense, like if I change to the tattoo inker brush that's much darker so for the settings on that one it doesn't have opacity but maybe it has that dilution makes it lighter so there are ways that you can change that too so and I'm gonna click undo to undo those and we're is that the right brush no I gotta find my old brush. Go to library. Texture essentials, there it is. Okay. 
So double check that if your color is super, super bright and you don't like it. Um, so I'm just going to continue to add colors to this. Um, limit yourself to four plus white. And I know this white, this paper, the photograph looks kind of gray. So if I want to show that I'm including white in my drawing or in my painting, or that I really want white in it, I'll show you what to do in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to the color and I'm gonna go move that dot at the top way where I can slide the slider on the bottom. That's probably the easiest way. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to paint in where I might like a white area. And don't go crazy with the white, but you can just do that to remind yourself that you want white here and there. Enlarge that. I'm going to put white there, and I'm going to put some white here. Some little sparkles of white. I think I'm going to add a, a concentric circle there, um, just to kind of spread things around a little bit. Okay, um, now, once you paint, you cannot remove the color to make it white again, so think about those things ahead of time. Okay, word to the wise. So. Um, I'm going to keep going. Those are the basics that you need to know, except for how to save, if you've never used this before. I'm going to come up to that little menu at the far left up there, and then I'm going to click Gallery and Save Current Sketch. And that's going to put it in your gallery. Um, with this one, I picked um, colors between orange and purple. Um, that's not all warm colors that, you know, together and it's not all cool colors together so that's mixed up a little bit. On this one I chose two sets of complements. I chose orange and blue, you know, the orange and the turquoise and I picked purple and yellow. Um, and where the greens come from and that kind of reddish browns is where I mixed I layered two of my colors up on top of each other. So those are all in, in that green right there. Oops, I opened it up and I didn't mean to. So keep those things in mind. Um, and this one looks really fuzzy because I had the drawing below turned off. My lines show there, they don't show there. So that's, that's what my painting might look like depending on what my craftsmanship is like on my painting. So 